Yo, 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 it's your boy Cal Reacts here, back with another one. Uh, this time it's something a little different. Uh, everything wrong with Nick Cannon's invitation cancelled. Uh, Crypt, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him, he's like a YouTube rapper. Um, but yeah, he's he's been making these uh, everything's wrong, kind of like those CinemaSins videos. Um, apparently they're pretty funny, so I was going to check this one out and see what he's all about. Um, if you're new to the channel, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get it. My invitation's canceled. A third diss track response, despite there not being a diss track to respond to. I feel like Nick is just trying to find a sneaky way to get Eminem to sing one of Mariah Carey's songs without him actually wanting to. <laughs> One minute and 54 seconds of Nick Cannon right, playing clips man. of Eminem dissing him and Mariah in various songs accompanied by Dr. Dre's voice saying, here's what they think about you, a whopping 27 times! Exactly, that, the, the intro to that song was so obnoxious, like, I, I didn't enjoy it at all, man. This song had absolutely no redeeming qualities. Oh yeah, it ain't over, motherfucker. Nick copies the intro to Ice Cube's No Vaseline, hoping that if he uses the same formula, his diss will have the same impact. But he's wrong. Very, very wrong. Nick changes the pitch of Eminem's voice to avoid copyright issues, yet he copyright claimed my video on his song when I did the exact same thing to avoid copyright issues, so five cents, fuck you. Nick has officially run out of ideas to diss Eminem on, so he pulls the race card and tries way too hard at it. Black power fists in the background? Check. Sporting a sweatshirt of a historically all-black college? Check. Theoretical book about how white people are naturally supremacists and subconsciously hate black people due to their genetically inferior DNA? Check. I understand race is an easy approach to take in a diss battle when it's two different races, but Eminem of all people? Has he seen his entourage? Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, Royce the 5'9", Crooked Eye, Jay-Z, Proof, all exactly, of the 12 man. I'm pretty sure Eminem- so clearly not racist that this this whole thing just completely missed. It was- I, I, I couldn't agree more with him, man. There's more respect in the black community than Nick Cannon ever will. Nick then smirkingly flashes this page from the ISIS papers. The book itself is a very pro-black movement that equates white skin as an albino deformity of black skin, but on this page specifically, it shows symbols of male genitalia and a gun. And in this book, the author talks about how white people subconsciously use guns as symbols to make up for their smaller penises in comparison to black penises. It's a cool idea and all, and almost a really good diss, but this is a theoretical, opinionated book that has several holes in its plot. It says some pretty outlandish things about white people and their subconscious and how people of color can't be racist and changes the term of racism completely from the scientific definition. It's a very one-sided argument book that fits in Nick's narrative perfectly. It would be like Eminem responding holding a book that talks about how black people are subconsciously doing something in reference to white people because that's the author's specific belief system. It's a very interesting read though, but it shows how Nick is trying way too hard to make this a race issue. Exactly. Fuck, that was yeah, way the, too the nerdy part for where Nick says he's race baiting or whatever, or that people are going to say he's race baiting. Like, how can you not? Like, he's completely and clearly race baiting. And it's like, it's, it, it's so wrong coming from somebody who has a platform like Nick Cannon does to, to do this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, be, be an advocate for, for, you know, racial inequality and stuff like this, but this, this isn't the way to go about it. This video. He been disrespecting our queens for years. Gigolo is literally about exactly. fucking as many exactly. women as possible, where you repeatedly call them hoes multiple times throughout the song. Matter of fact, won't you tell them how you really feel, Marshall? Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. Nick Cannon plays a clip from Eminem's 1988 song Foolish Pride and attempts to paint an Eminem is racist narrative, despite Ray Benzano doing this exact same thing in 2003. Eminem claims exactly. he had made the tape out of anger, stupidity, and frustration. After breaking up with an African American girlfriend. Although the scandalous nature of Eminem's lyrics have given you should, uh, the source you should bring that a beat newfound back, support for their claims, perhaps the biggest revelation of the press conference was how bad Eminem was just 10 years ago and how much he's improved since. And we all saw how that ended for Ray Benzino. I love how Nick thinks that, he just like, dropped. Even Eminem sucked at one point. <laughs> like, did you hear? Did you hear that chorus? That oh 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 foolish pride. <laughs> like let it be known. Man. We like, also you, you got to practice, man. No matter no matter how good you end up being, like it takes practice. How that ended for Ray Benzino. 
was really selling coke, well then what the fuck you stop for, dummy? If you slew some crack, you'd make a lot more money than you do from rap. I love how Nick thinks he just dropped a bombshell on the whole world when this song has literally been available to the public for over 16 exactly. years. Exactly. Like, if he anything, came in like, I, like he was revealing something secret. Like, we, we knew about this a decade ago. As shitty as it is, he made the song more catchy because the original song sucks, but he made this something you could bounce to. What are you doing, man? Eminem was 15 at the time of recording this song and had just been dumped by his African American girlfriend. Granted, what Eminem said is horrific. Here's a clip of Crooked Eye talking about the situation if he was in the same shoes. I mean, when I heard what M said, I was like, you know what? He's just pissed. If I was fucking a white bitch at the time and she pissed me off, I'd be like, you fucking white bitch. That's just what I'm gonna do. He was like, yo, this black bitch, woo, woo, woo. It's like, yo, he was pissed. He was in a fucking relationship with somebody. And we say things when we're pissed off. We might not agree with ourselves the next day, but guess what? And it's we also, it's, it's not racist to acknowledge that somebody is a certain race. Like, like he said, if it was a white chick and he said white bitches are dumb, would it, you know, it's, it's not racist to acknowledge that somebody is what they are. You know what I mean? Like. People, black people are black, white people are white. Asian, like if it was an Asian chick and he said Asian bitches are dumb, he's he's just he's talking about that specific Asian chick. You know what I mean? Like it, I don't know. He's Nick was reaching so much. And so we're pissed off. And us as musicians, we go into the booth yeah. and we spew what's on our minds. And I think the public don't give us an opportunity to change our minds. Also, also, can we talk about how fucking hypocritical it is that Nick Cannon's bringing up something that happened over 30 years ago, and he's using it as a diss, but when it came to Kevin Hart tweeting out some really fucked up shit like 10 years ago, he jumped straight to his defense on Twitter and argued with everyone. What? Black girls are bitches. Why can't Nick Cannon's rap voice sound like his ad-libs right here? They're clear, they have bass to them, but when he starts to rap, it sounds like he's whispering again. What the fuck? I was saying, like, he, he legitimately sounded like he was trying to drop a mixtape and his parents were home. And, like, they didn't know he rapped. Hey, more race baiting and Nick Cannon using somebody else's insults to insult Eminem. Get used to that. In all seriousness, Nick clearly knew this comment would get under Eminem's skin only because of the Lord Jamar interviews. Also, Nick claims Eminem is merely a guest in the house of hip hop, whilst Nick himself isn't even a neighbor on the same block. Also, also, Nick Cannon goes back to his normal ways of not rhyming a fucking thing. I had to put my motherfucking turban on. Y'all side your motherfucking turban on. What happened in the last 10 years or so that made Nick Cannon think this was the way to rap? Like, the whisper rap was the way to go? Because if you look back and listen to like Gigolo and Dime Peace and some of his earlier songs, he raps normally. Protesting with AK's gun. Our queens don't need your racism. For the life of me, I could not figure out what he was saying until I looked up the lyrics and realized he rhymed guns with racism. But he said racism to make it rhyme. And it's just... Man, I wish Nick Cannon would stop fucking trying to rap. Hey, more race baiting. Get used to that. Also, what does that even mean? How was one person an entire group of this generation, even though that group still exists in this generation? That's like me saying Nick Cannon's the bad rapper of this generation. Like, there's plenty of bad rappers out there, despite how much we all hate him. Also, Nick ignores the multiple collaborations and collaborative albums with people of the African-American descent, but no KKK! Cause ain't no age for white rap. I would give anybody watching this right now $100 if they can lip-read and see what the <laughs> fuck Nick Cannon was saying during this scene. Cause ain't no age for white rap. Yeah, God forbid Nick Cannon oh, yeah. said some fucked up shit when he was younger. I once thought Nick Cannon. Uh, why does he look like Eric Andre right now? <laughs> Yo, Crip killed him with these pictures, man. That's crazy. Yeah, God forbid Nick Cannon said some fucked up shit when he was younger. I once thought Nick Cannon was one of the greatest actors of all time because of Drumline, and then I got older and realized that I was fucking stupid. He's a rap star. Run, nigga, run. Stand on my ground. Fruit of Islam. According to the Gospel Coalition for the Nation of Islam, a member of the Fruit of Islam is supposed to be respectful to all, regardless of color. Read the ISIS paper, you racist. I see why you hate us. Nick Cannon has literally brainwashed himself with this theoretical opinionated book. Nick tells Eminem to read this book to see that he's racist, but this book's main point 
point is that white people are subconsciously racist due to white supremacy. Therefore, he's always gonna be racist. Despite his actual racist comments, he's still gonna be racist no matter what. Goddamn right, yeah, I'm on one. Nick has spent a decent amount of bars referencing his Islamic faith, but then proceeds to casually drop God which is an impermissible phrase in the Islamic faith and one of the worst things you can physically say in the religion. Christopher Columbus, hip hop wish you discovered. Nick does his best Yoda impression and says a sentence completely ass backwards. Hip hop wish you discovered. Just for Rosa and Coretta, Asada and Loretta. What is going on here? Like, what is the point of this? Nick has become so enthralled with this race issue that he has forgotten why right. he's dissing exactly. Eminem in the first place. It's because he said he had no balls, in case you forgot. Well, Jamal told your ass you wasn't guessing our house. I'm trying to find out who the fuck let this pest in our house. Lord Jamar also said that women in rap aren't real rap, which is super disrespectful Yo, to the queens off. of hip hop and it's I challenge any of you guys out there in the comments to find any lyrics that Nick Cannon has spit that were multi-syllable rhymes. I swear I don't think I've ever heard him rhyme more than one syllable, if that. You know, half half of his bars don't rhyme fully or completely. And I would like to see more than one syllable. If you can, if you can do that, you find you find some lyrics where he's rhyming more than one syllable, and I will do a reaction to whatever song you want to immediately. In our house, I'm trying to find out who the fuck let this pest in our house. Lord Jamar also said that women in rap aren't real rap, which is super disrespectful to the queens of hip hop, and it's literally half of the reason you're dissing Eminem for. So where's that Lord Jamar diss track at, man? Also, how many fucking interviews are there of you out there saying that Eminem is in your top five, yet you're calling him a pest right here? Make up your mind, man. I know you and Eminem have an interesting history, so <laughs> I'm assuming you didn't listen to it. I didn't. I haven't yeah. heard it. Right. <laughs> but okay, I'm not funny. I yeah. still Eminem's in my top five. My number one. Pop, hands down. My number two, Eminem. Now, people may not remember this, <laughs> but I do recall you having. That's what's crazy. That's that's another reason why Eminem is like completely untouchable, because he he. Even if you're gonna beef with him, like he's still one of your favorite rappers. Like, how do you how do you beat that? You know what I mean? Like, how do you how do you? Mentally prepare yourself for a battle with somebody who you've looked up to for so long. Like, any one of the people that he's beefed with would, in a heartbeat, switch careers with them. So it's like, how how can you even how can you even go up against that man? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So it's <laughs> with the likes of one of the greatest wordsmiths slash rappers Back. known to man in Eminem. Yep, you heard him. This is how you feel about us. We just gonna keep letting that ride. Well, everybody else heard it 16 years ago, and you've been letting it ride since, so well, I don't see why he wouldn't let it go on. Look like he knows how to read here. This is how you feel about us. We just gonna keep letting that ride. Well, everybody else heard it 16 years ago, and you've been letting it ride since, so I don't see why he wouldn't let it go on a little bit more. Also, need I remind you, it was 30 years ago! Also, in the song, Eminem said black girls are bitches and black girls are dumb, and then Nick says, you heard what he says about us. So, is Nick admitting to being a girl right now? Read the ice paper, you racist, I see why you hate us. Black girls are bitches, black girls are dumb. This is the second pre-chorus and the third chorus, and Nick says more words in the pre-chorus than he does in his actual verses, and Eminem says more words than Nick Cannon altogether. <laughs> Oh yeah, the hopping bob and all the mother house negroes that keep defending this motherfucker. Holla at me. I got some books you should read. Nick says anybody supporting Eminem because he's white is now considered an Uncle Tom. And uh, I know a lot of people who are not going to be happy about this one. Oh, and Marshall, I tried to give you an invitation. My invitation's canceled. In Eminem's defense, you didn't give him an actual date to come on the show, and you can't RSVP to something that doesn't have an actual date. Also, this reminds me of this clip from South Park. Where you guys? Man yeah, man, I I agree with Crypt, honestly. Like on, on a lot of these points, man. Like this was such a, a whack attempt at a diss. Like I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not a rapper. I don't claim to be a rapper. I'm not a, a great rapper, but I feel like I could have put something out better than this. And it, it's like almost embarrassing. You know, I cringe I cringe when I see something about Nick Cannon at this point. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, man. Until next time, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.